Hi, I'm Terry and I'm nuts about stamping. I'm back today with another Sundays with Sizzix project. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Christmas card with some help from your Big Shot. I'm going to start off with a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. I've cut it eight and a half by five and a half, scored it at the four and a quarter mark, and my card is going to be a landscape layout. The first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to emboss using the stars embossing folder. I'm going to emboss the front of the card with the stars. I've got my basic platform on tab one, bottom standard cutting pad. I've got my cardstock inside the embossing folder and then the top standard cutting pad. And I'm going to slide that through the big shot. And that'll emboss the stars on the front of my card. There we go. Hopefully you can see it. The next thing I'm going to do is die cut a window into a layer for the front of my card using pear pizzazz and one of my ovals framelits. This time, because I'm using a framelit, I've switched over to my magnetic platform, bottom standard cutting pad, my pear pizzazz with the oval framelit on top, top standard cutting pad, hold it in place, and die cut the window out. And then the final thing I'm going to do, here's my window for the layer for the front of the card. And then the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to die cut a phrase using another oval. And to do this, I'm going to use my Peaceful Pines stamp set and the Tis the Season phrase. I'm going to ink it up in Mossy Meadow. Stamp it down on my cardstock. Like so. And then I'm going to die cut it out. Let me bring my big shot back in. Same sandwich. Like so. my framelit on top, top standard cutting pad, hold it in place, and then run it through. And then I'll be finished with my big shot, and I'll show you how to put the rest of the card together. Now I've already spoken to the fact that I am using my Peaceful Pines stamp set, and I'm going to continue using the set with this tree here. Now I have a layer of Whisper White cardstock that is going to go underneath my oval window that I've die cut. So what I want to do is I want to stamp some images onto this layer so that it'll peek through the window. And I'm going to use three ink pads for that. I'm going to use Pear Pizzazz, Old Olive, and Mossy Meadow. And I'm going to use the same stamp for all of them, which is this tree stamp. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with my lightest color first. I'm going to ink up Pear Pizzazz. I'm going to stamp off on a piece of scrap paper. And then I'm going to stamp on a couple of times. So stamp off and stamp on. And then maybe a third time like so. So it's very, very faint. You can barely see it in the background, which is exactly what I want. Then the next thing I'm going to do is clean my stamp. And I'm going to use Old Olive next, which is a darker color. So I'm going to ink this up. And I'm going to again stamp off and then stamp on. I'm going to ink it up again, stamp off, and stamp on, like so. So it looks like the trees that are the lighter ones are in the background, and then we're moving closer and closer to the foreground. Now it might be a good idea at this point, yep, 
to make sure that everything is showing through my window. And then the last thing I want to do is again clean my stamp using the stamp and scrub. And then I'm going to use my darkest color of ink, which is the um, Mossy Meadow. I'm going to ink it up really well. And then I'm going to stamp it right in the center, like so. Now I'm just going to take a quick peek. And looks pretty good. I think what I want to do is I want to put one more lighter colored stamp just on the outside. So I will clean my stamp off and I will use Pear Pizzazz since that my, that's my lightest color. Okay. Ink up my stamp. I'll stamp off and then I will stamp on. like so and there that'll perfectly fill the background now I think I'm ready to complete my card and I'm going to use some Stampin Dimensionals I'm going to put a Stampin Dimensional in each corner of my oval layer I want to pop it off the front of the white so it looks more like a window. It's been a little hard to do when I'm not standing above it. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. There we go. So I've got like that. And then I'm going to bring in my card base, which is embossed with the stars. You won't really be able to see them too well. I could have cut my uh, layers a little bit shorter. I would recommend you do that if you're going to try this card at home. And then I have got my phrase, Tis the Season. And let's see, I think I'll put it up here in the corner. Like so. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll bring in, I think I'll move it over just a little bit. Like so. And then the last thing I'll do is I'll bring in one of those beautiful snowflake elements and I will attach it using a mini glue dot. So I'm gonna push the snowflake right onto the mini glue dot, pull it off and then angle it like so to complete my Christmas card. There we go, a beautiful Christmas card to send to friends and family this season. For a complete listing of the supplies that I used and the measurements for the cardstock layers, hop on over to my blog www.nutsaboutstamping.com. While on my blog, make sure you're a newsletter subscriber. I have newsletters that come out every week right now for my 12 weeks of Christmas campaign and then once the campaign is over I send out two or three newsletters each month they're free to you and you can choose which ones you want I'm Terry I'm nuts about stamping see you next time bye for now